Down to a minute and a half. Thompson. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Northwestern. Another ball with some heat over the middle. Yo, what's up? Avian here. And let me just start out by saying I am so sorry to every Cornhusker fan out there right now. I feel for you guys. Scott Frost, you need to go, my man. Let's get right into this video. So we just watched Nebraska lose yet again another close game by three points to Northwestern in Dublin, Ireland after Scott Frost had a lead and decided to do an onside kick. That gave Northwestern all the momentum and completely changed this game, and that's the reason why they lost. Scott Frost, what are you doing? What kind of decisions are you making? You are tearing this football program apart with these decisions, and you're tearing every Cornhusker fan's hearts apart when you're doing this because you guys deserve to win this game. They played hard, even though they blew it in the end, and I'll get to that in a second. So let me start out by saying I am playing every loss that Nebraska had last year in the background of this video. And shout out to PSC Highlights because they're the makers of this video. Go check out that video. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. But this year honestly looks like it's going to be the same exact thing as last year. This is the same way Nebraska lost games last year with Adrian Martinez. And it usually ended with a blunder at the end or an interception at the end of the game when they're down three, down six, seven, whatever it is. They always found a way to lose. And this game, they found a way to lose, especially after that onside kick. Now, I'm not going to have all the blame on Scott Frost because Casey Thompson did not look good in that second half. Northwestern did a really good job and he was not that accurate and obviously on that last drive he threw that interception even though the tight end should have caught it. I think he threw the ball a little bit too hard and he needs to be like a little bit softer. He needs to lead them on to because it was also behind him. But before I rip on Nebraska anymore I'm gonna talk about each team's stats and what they did well in this game and what they didn't do well. And starting off with Nebraska, Casey Thompson, he was 25 for 42. He had 355 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. He threw both of his interceptions in the second half. And altogether, he just looked garbage in that second half. He did not know what he was doing. He looked like a deer in headlights. And I feel for the guy because it's his first game with Nebraska, but he was so comfortable in that first half. I don't know what happened in the second half. All I can think about is that onside kick and changing the momentum. Then on the other side, you have Ryan Holinsky. He was 27 for 38, 314 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He played an amazing game. He is way different than last year. I think Northwestern is going to be a decent team this year. I do not think they're going to be 3-9. and nine. I definitely think they'll win at least six and probably make it a bowl game, especially if he plays like that. And then heading on to the running backs, Anthony Grant was the main running back for Nebraska. He ran the ball 19 times. He had 101 yards. He had two touchdowns. He played a decent game, even though at the end he didn't produce as much as he should have. But I also attribute that to Northwestern's defense. They really took full control of this game. And then Evan Hall, I think that's how you say his name, had 22 carries, 119 yards, and one touchdown for Northwestern. Then moving on to the receivers for Nebraska, their lane receiver only had four receptions, but he had 120 yards. He had a 30-yard average, and that was Isaiah Garcia. Castaneda, I think that's how you say his name. And on Northwestern side, they have Malik Washington. He had eight receptions, 97 yards with a 12.1 average. Now let's talk about the defense a little bit. Nebraska's defense is absolutely horrible. They are so bad. They should not have let up like the amount of yards that they let up in this game, especially against Northwestern. Northwestern played very well. Ryan Holinsky, very great quarterback, and they knew what they were doing, but they weren't tackling right. I know it's the first game of the year, but they just weren't tackling. And they kept letting Northwestern get first down after first down after first down on the ground, too, and they could not stop the run. And that's why I honestly think if they don't fire Scott Frost, I think Nebraska is going to probably be like 4-8 and eight or 5-7 and seven again this year. Like, I'm sorry. Then on the other side, Northwestern in the first half, they didn't play good defense either. But in the second half, they stepped it up and they held Casey Thompson and they held Grant especially in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is where they shined, and they showed that they can actually be a decent team this year. So I do believe in Northwestern a little bit. And the last thing I really want to say is how do you let up 528 yards to Northwestern? I really want to know how you let up 528 yards. Like, what does that say for the season going forward? Because last year, Northwestern's defense was pretty good. That's kind of the heavy spot 
of their team. But now it seems like their defense isn't good at all, and their offense might just be the same, or maybe a little bit better under Casey Thompson. But I don't know, man. I feel bad for you guys. I'm sorry, Cornhusker fans. I am not a Cornhusker fan at all. I just feel a lot of sympathy for them because of all the BS that they've gone through the last two years, and honestly, the last few years with Scott Frost. He needs to go. I'm with you guys. With that being said, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Check out my Patreon in the description if you want to support the channel. It really helps me when it comes to making these videos, and I want to upload a video at least every couple days talking about something new and etc just let me know what kind of video you guys want to see next and until next time peace